Hello guys, welcome back to Terra, and uh, and today we're taking a taking a snapshot of the Slayer class. This is uh, another melee damage dealer from the uh, from the upcoming MMO Terra, true action combat MMO. Here you can see me showcasing off some of the some of the armor options that are available to the Slayer. The Slayer is is unfortunately constricted to one armor set, like all classes. All classes have one uh, one armor armor kind of type that they're that they're restricted to use. And, and for Slayer, that is Leather Mail, the medium sets. They're shared with Archer, Warrior, and uh, I think that's it off the top of my head. But uh, but here, here you see, they're kind of a little bit more protective than the cloth, uh, and there's some, some metal and steel plates to them, some protective aspects, but they're still very much designed for a little bit of maneuverability and uh, a little bit of, you know, freedom. In, uh, to, to move around in combat. So let's get on to the official spiel of, of what they say the Slayer is about. So the Slayer is a class that wields heavy large swords ruthlessly apparently. They are equipped with heavy swords and armor which makes their attacks rather slow. Their role is to deal great amounts of damage towards wounded enemies to take them out with certainty. Due to the heavy, uh, the heavy armor and swords Slayers wield, they move sluggishly. To compensate for this weakness, they have incredible composure and are great at making decisions. Slayers are useful for helping allies who are surrounded by enemies with their wide arsenal of knockback abilities. Okay, so what it's basically trying to slay, say is, they are um, not quite as maneuverable as warriors. They're, 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 you know, they're melee damage dealers, but uh, much like the berserker. You know they're slow, unwieldy. They don't have the range that the uh, that the ranged classes have. So you know they are slightly weak. Although compared to the berserker, that the the, the, uh, the slayer has a great deal uh, a great deal more from what I've seen at least of what I've played. They have a great deal more gap closing abilities. Like the uh, like the berserker, they have to uh, they have to generate their mana by by hitting things with their sword. It, it kind of works like rage. It goes up as you hit and then you spend that on abilities to use in combat. And there are also moves that help you sustain, generate and preserve rage in between fights, you know, to keep the momentum going, to keep the rhythm fast and furious. The slayer is a really fun class actually. It, it's got a wide arc to its uh, to its sword. And if you're a fan of uh, perhaps hate to call uh, hate to call them wow but uh, if you're a fan of arms warriors, then, then you might like the style of the Slayer. It's it's very much um, a hard-hitting melee class with a with a badass, massive two-handed sword. So it's uh, it's it's a pretty nice, pretty nice looking class as well. It's it's not got the plate, which is which is my favorite armor set so far. I mean, I'm very much drawn towards Berserker and Lancer as, as classes go, and uh, and the leather armor sets don't really kind of do it for me, especially not on this Baraka. He looks kind of kind of terrible. But uh, yeah, they share the sets with with the archer and the warrior, and and they, and they manage to pull off a kind of um, light armored melee damage dealer that has maneuverability in bursts and still manages to do a crap ton of damage. It does more than the warrior, but doesn't quite have the maneuverability of the warrior. But it's definitely a very viable, a very viable choice if you want to. Uh, if you want to, to do damage, it's also very good for PvP, I hear. So, uh, so let's uh, let's show you my dinosaur. So here he is. Here is my Slayer. Uh, I've called this guy Dinosaur. I wonder if you can guess why. It might be because he looks like a dinosaur. This is an Aman, an Aman Slayer, and and they have a horrific, a horrific looking uh, looking figure and face sometimes. And I've I've gone for a kind of green dinosaur look. As you can see here, I'm on, I'm on horse. Uh, why? Well, because at level 11, you everybody gets a quest to get a horse, and uh, I've actually done it on this character, and I've got my horse. So here it is. I'll leave you to be the judge of whether every character should or shouldn't get a free horse at level 11. But um, but we've got one all the same. So so let's 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 find some pigs because it's warthog slaying time. Oh yeah, there's a pretty pig for us to stick with our sword. Fantastic. Let's get off the get off the horse and take a look at our skills. Left click is your combo attack, the usual combo attack that everybody gets at uh, well, most get. This one has a sword. This this guy has a sword, so he swings it rather than shooting fireballs or anything, but um, combo attack 2. Strike one or more targets in front of you and gain MP with each hit. Successive strikes do more damage, up to four hits, with the fourth hit dealing substantially more. So what that means is you kind of hold it down, you swing once, you swing twice, you swing thrice, and the fourth time does lots of damage. Uh, 
Uh, now let's take a look at our right click. This is the uh, the defensive uh, spell that you get at level one, and it carries through right to the end game. Dodge your enemy's attack. Okay, that's pretty vague, so I have to show you what that means. You right click, and you just oh, not enough MP. We'll have to build up, build up some MP. Let's do that on these wasps. Great, great, uh, a great thing to build MP on wasps. It only takes one slice to kill them, so we'll need a couple to to get to what we need. But uh, that should be enough. So right click, and uh, and you do the evasive roll, and uh, it's got a relatively short cooldown, and that gets you out of harm's way in a in a hurry. So let's take a look at the next C. I've put triumphant shout on this. Instantly restore 100 MP. Your MP doesn't decay off. Uh, doesn't decay for 20 seconds. Well, that uh, that seems like something we should have done to uh, before we. Um, before we try to use our evasive roll. So let's see that in action. Press C. And yeah, our MP has gone up to 7.2. Great. Let's keep going. Take a look at the next spell. Knockdown Strike. Rank 2. Bowl your enemy over with a mighty swing of your sword. Okay. We need um, we need mana to do that. So uh, it's wasp. It's wasp time. Oh, right. Just the one slice should kill them. And there we go, we've got enough, so let's use it before we run out. So you press 1, and you swing. It's like a powerful lunge forward and swing attack. So, uh, now it's time for number number 2, Whirlwind. Whirlwind rank 2. Spin with your sword, hitting targets within 3 meters. Okay, again, we're going to have to hit wasps to find out what this does. Again, this 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 class is is one that uh, generates MP from hitting stuff, much like the Berserker, and uh, and that makes demonstrating the abilities somewhat tricky, but not a problem. The Whirlwind is uh, is a very expensive uh, expensive spell. It's uh, quite mana intensive, so it's not easy to get up to that level that we need. To uh, there we go, and the shout puts us up. So let's try it. Two. And you spin two slices, one to the clockwise and and the uh, and the second counterclockwise, and that deals a lot of damage in uh, in a short radius, in a short uh, short circle around us. So let's uh, let's move on to number three, the third ability we've got here, and that is headlong rush. Charge forward, increasing the speed of your next attack within ten seconds by thirty percent. Effect ends after ten seconds, or when you hit a target. What this does, then, this is um, this is like a charge, although you can't use it to initiate because you need uh, you need mana to do it. So, so it's it's in combat, uh, in combat or after combat only. So it's it's a good move to use to get you between packs if you want to chain up lots of lots of grinding quite quickly. You want to kill mobs one after the other quite quickly. It's a great thing to use. So uh, we'll just damage this boar with a few combo attacks into a number one devastating blow and then a whirlwind. And then we'll finish up charging up our MP with the combo attacks so that we can try out this third skill. And here we go. I press 3 and I charge off in the direction I'm facing. And it makes my next attack quite quick. So um, if I show you how slow the first skill is normally, this is how slow it is normally. There you go. That's That's number 1. And that's quite quite a slow quite a slow to cast time to actually get that off. To actually swing that sword, it takes a while for him to get it through the air, uh, through the air. So uh, let's press three and try that again, and it'll it'll get off much quicker. Or at least it should do. Yeah, you see that, that, that the attack speed on that was slightly quicker. So it's it's useful for chaining up between mobs and uh, keeping the momentum going. Because the Slayer is very much a momentum-based uh, based class. It deals a lot of damage, but um, it also carries the momentum of, of the Warrior while mixing the uh, mixing the damage of the Berserker as well. So it's, 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 it's a strong class, very strong class, that relies on speed as well as damage. What else have we got? I believe, I believe that's all the spells 
we have at level 11. Some classes get more than others, and the Slayer, regretfully, has um, has precious few at level 11, but that's that's all it has to offer. I've showed you the combo system on, uh, on the other classes, but here it is again. You can uh, put, put various abilities in, uh, into chains, combo chains, and what this means is after you do one, the other will become quicker to cast. So here we've got Headlong Rush into Knockdown Strike, Triumphant Shank we can put into, uh, into Whirlwind. Or rather not, because Evasive Roll is already a Whirlwind. So we can do, um, hmm, Triumphant Shank into Knockdown Strike as well. And that means that when you do an Evasive Roll, you can get off a Whirlwind much quicker if you cast it immediately after you've done an Evasive Roll. Well, that's about it for Dinosaur. So if you want to see him dance... Okay. Fantastic. So that's that's uh, that's it for the Slayer. That's uh, a short sneak peek at what the Slayer has to offer at level 11. Quite early in the game. Obviously there's much more to unlock when you get higher up in the levels. But uh, at level 11, that's all there is for us to do. So... Uh, Thanks for your time. I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, hope you've enjoyed this episode of um, of the terror sneak peeks at the classes that we're doing. I've been Sjin. Subscribe if you liked, and uh, and uh, I'll see you next time.